Mr. Mueller and his team of prosecutors and investigators worked tirelessly to follow the facts and pursue justice to the furthest extent allowed. Although Department of Justice policy prevented the special counsel from bringing criminal charges against the president, the special counsel has clearly demonstrated that President Trump is lying. He is lying about the special counsel's findings, lying about the testimony of key witnesses in the special counsel's report, and above all, lying in saying that the special counsel found no obstruction and no collusion. In his statement this morning, Special Counsel Mueller reaffirmed his report. It found substantial evidence that Russia attacked our political system, that the Trump campaign benefited from Russian interference, that Trump and those around him repeatedly welcomed Russia's support, and that throughout the subsequent investigation, Trump sought to obstruct Mueller time and time again. Special Counsel Mueller today repeated three central points, which are critical for the American people. One, the special counsel did not exonerate the President of the United States of obstruction of justice. Two, obstruction of justice, of which special counsel Mueller found substantial evidence, is a serious crime that strikes at the core of our justice system. Three, the Constitution points to Congress to take action to hold the President accountable for his misconduct. Unfortunately, Special Counsel Mueller was unable to pursue criminal charges against the President because Department of Justice policy prevents a sitting President from being prosecuted. That policy, in my opinion, is wrong, but it prevented the Special Pro Counsel from pursuing justice to the fullest extent possible. Therefore, as Mueller again highlighted this morning, it falls to Congress to respond to the crimes lies, and other wrongdoing of President Trump. We will do so. Make no mistake, no one, not even the President of the United States, is above the law. Congressman, will you Thank move you. then forward with impeachment proceedings? And given what Mueller has said, meaning that he feels as though the report says all that he needs to say, will you then subpoena him to testify in front of Congress? With respect to impeachment question, at this point, all options are on the table and nothing should be ruled out. What Special Counsel Mueller said loud and clear today for the American people is that President Trump is lying when he says no collusion, no obstruction, and that he was exonerated. If Mueller wanted to exonerate the President from having committed the crime, he would have said so. Instead, and he says he would have said so. Instead, the Special Counsel makes clear that obstruction of justice, which he found substantial evidence of, is a serious crime that strikes at the core of our justice system and that the Constitution points to Congress to take action to hold the President accountable. That's exactly what we will do. The President's response to repeatedly lie to the American people and ignore all congressional subpoenas is immoral and unlawful. No one is above the law and we will hold the President accountable. So if I may follow up with that then, Congressman, with, in, with regards to impeachment, will you then move forward at a particular time? You say it's on the table, but what exactly does that mean specifically? We are following through in our investigation. We will continue to do so, and we'll make decisions as, as they seem indicated. And one more so question. Please, one more question. Will you subpoena Mueller to, to testify then? Mr. Mueller um, um, told us a lot of what we need to hear today. It's very important to be clear on what he told us, on what the special prosecutor told the American people. He reaffirmed what was in the investigation, which, which was in the report about the investigation, which found substantial evidence that Russia attacked our political system, that the Trump campaign benefited from Russia's interference, that Trump and those around him repeatedly welcomed Russia's support, and that throughout the investigation, Trump sought to obstruct justice and undermine Mueller and the investigation over and over again. The president did the invest, I'm sorry, the special counsel did not exonerate the president from having a committed a crime. DOJ policy prevented Mueller from bringing criminal charges against the president. So the president is lying about the special counsel's findings, lying and saying that the special counsel found no obstruction and no conclusion. And I should add the attorney general is lying about that too. That is serious and we will take action to hold the president accountable for his misconduct. 
Again, I'll repeat, no one, not even the president, is above the law. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there you have it. Two quick questions. Congressman Jerry Nadler, who chairs House Judiciary, essentially saying that the special counsel, Bob Mueller, admits that his hands were tied. His hands were tied on charging the president because of DOJ uh, regulations. So now he's saying it is up to Congress, and he would not say if he will subpoena Mueller to testify. Let, let me bring in our our White House correspondent, Abby Phillip, and our chief political correspondent, Dana Bash. And Dana, I just want to jump right to that, that first key question. Will you, because of what Mueller said, will you move with impeachment proceedings? And I heard, I heard all options are on the table. What does that mean? Well, he was asked that question, what does that mean? And he didn't answer it except to say they're going to continue with their investigation. Um, look, he didn't you don't have to read very deeply between the lines to see that the pressure is on him even more and on the House Speaker even more uh, than it was when we all woke up this morning yep. because of the content of what Robert Mueller said. However, you know, he spoke in legalese and, you know, some nuance. What he was saying to, uh, to the Congress was actually pretty clear, which is, I couldn't do this because I'm not allowed to charge the president with the crime, um, not, not necessarily because I didn't see that he committed a crime, in fact, just the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. And it's up to you, uh, folks in the House of Re Representatives, to deal with this. Yep. Ball is in your court, as just Dustin Amash said. Um, so, look, he was very careful, Jared Nadler. I noticed it was kind of striking that he not only read from a statement to begin with, but read from remarks to answer questions, which I don't think I've seen um, very much of from, from politicians, uh, even and especially on the issue of a subpoena for Robert Mueller, because that should be the next step. If they are going to continue to investigate and build the case for the public uh, to potentially impeach, they are they obviously want to hear from Robert Mueller. And Nat Nat but you heard been him in today. Intense negotiations, right. Intense but you heard him. He's, with he's like, read the read the report. That's my testimony. He has well, no interest in exactly, exactly. He doesn't, and there has been um, tension about whether or not he will testify. Uh, yeah. uh, the fact that that Nadler didn't say no or yes on the subpoena and essentially um, said that Mueller gave us his answers today made it seem to me like. You know, a subpoena is not in the offing right now. He might be pressured to do that by his own mm -hmm. members of the Judiciary Committee, mm -hmm. but he doesn't seem inclined to do it at this moment. Abby Phillip, over to you with the White House. I also heard a lot of Congressman Nadler. I heard two words over and over Trump lying. Trump lying. What did you think of that? Yeah, clearly Nadler uh, is hearing what is coming out of the White House and thinks that it is a misrepresentation of what's being said. And the, the, tr the truth is, it is in some ways uh, sort of ignoring some of the content of what Mueller said. Uh, earlier this morning, the president tweeted that the case is closed, that uh, that basically Mueller found no collusion and that Barr de definitively found that there was no obstruction. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders reiterated that in a statement uh, and, and implied that uh, that Mueller left it up to Attorney General Bill Barr to come to that conclusion, which uh, which, frankly, he did not do. Uh, 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 Robert Mueller did not make a conclusion on obstruction, but he didn't say, Bill Barr, uh, I would like to you to, to come to this conclusion. Now, Bill Barr did, and that's what the White House is going on now. And she also added uh, it, in some comments to reporters not long ago that she and the White House believes that it was Mueller's responsibility that if he felt like there was wrongdoing when it comes to obstruction, it was his moral responsibility to say something about it, to, to put it in the report. Well, mm -hmm. Mueller did answer that question. He made it clear that he felt like he could not even accuse the president if, in writing of some kind of crime or wrongdoing if the president had no venue to have that tried in a court of law. So Mueller right. does answer that critique. But that's the line that we're getting from the White House today. They're criticizing Mueller for uh, sort of leaving this door open in some ways on obstruction, saying that if he had the goods, he should have put it on paper, and saying that by closing the special counsel's office, saying that this is done, uh, the American public and Democrats should move on. Now, at the same time, Dana 
sources, my sources, Gloria Borger's sources, all telling us that the White House is basically saying on the question of impeachment, bring it on. We are mm -hmm. ready for it. And that if you go there, uh, we're prepared to use this uh, as a political tool in our favor. A source, a White House source telling me this morning that they believe impeachment might be a great way for them to t retake the House of Representatives. So mm -hmm. that might may be all sort of Pollyanna talk here from the White House, but they're, they're sort of, uh, you know, girding for a fight here, believing that Democrats may have no choice but to take that extra step. And if they do, uh, they're prepared to use it in a politically advantageous way. President Trump is always wanting to sort of be on the offense here. And I think this could be his opportunity to say, hey, Democrats are going way too far here, even after Robert Mueller said there is no more uh, really to look into. That's, that's their view of the situation. But obviously the facts are more uh, nuanced than that, certainly. Of course.